6.30 in the morning, I like to be the first one in, get in here before anybody else gets in the lake, see what I can find. So I'm at this lake that's always been a pretty good spot for me and uh, fog's coming off of the water. Looks good. So hopefully there's been some activity out here. So let's get out here and let's see if they find anything. Let's get it in the scoop. Let's get swinging. Got a 50, a 52 here. Let's see what a 52 is going to be. Oh, yes. Check that out. Wow. That is a eagle's head. And check that honker of a ring out. That's huge. Big eagle's head. It's ringing up a 52. I don't see any markings in it right now. I can't see very well uh, without glasses. I know some of you tell me get some glasses, but these are prescription on my head. Uh, they're the sunglasses, but they don't have bifocals in them, so it doesn't do me any good. But man, I'll take that. I started, I've been out here about 30 minutes. Started wondering if there's anything out here. I've just dug a, a few pull tabs. That's about it. Man, I love that. That's a nice find. All right, let's keep swinging and see what else is in here. All right, it's been about 20 minutes since that last find. I got a uh, heart uh, ringing up at 78. Could be silver. I haven't uh, seen it. Could be. It looks like a James Avery ring. But uh, hey, I'll take it. Uh, targets are a little few and far between, but they're in here, so I'll take that any day. So let's keep swinging. I was getting a 73 to a 75 and it's a little bitty bitty ring it's silver a little heart-shaped stone in it but it's a uh, it's small I mean it's got to be one of the smallest rings I've ever dug check this out when I compare it to that big uh, eagle ring that I found just a minute ago look at the size difference in those two rings that's a huge ring that thing will fit in my finger yep Almost. My finger's a little bit bigger than that. So that's got to be at least a 13, a 12 or 13 size. All right, this is an old ring. It's it's more of a vintage style. All right, let's keep swinging. See what else is out here. Well, I was getting a 52, and I think it's going to be a stainless steel chain. And I was just thinking to myself, man, I haven't dug a chain yet. I like to dig a gold chain, a big, nice, big, huge gold chain. Hey, but I'll take that. That's pretty good. That's a four rings out of here and a, and a earring and a chain. So, and I still have half the swing area to uh, continue to, to detect. So let's keep swinging. Well, that's going to do it for this lake. I've got one more in store. It's about an hour drive away. I haven't been there in a couple of years, so I don't know what to expect. But uh, we're going to go find out together, so I'll see you in the water. Well, I literally just got here. This is, I dug a pull tab, a beaver tail, and this is my second target. It's ringing up like a 69 to a 70. It's a little ring. I'm not sure 
on the markings. I think it's silver. And so my second target, maybe this has not been hunted in a while. So let's keep swinging. Let's see what else we can find. Well, it's been a while since I've got my last green. Uh, probably been an hour or so. I was just walking back to the truck and I said, well, if I find something, I'll stay a little longer. If not, I'm gonna go into another lake. But I got a 45, about chest deep water here. It's gonna be a stainless steel ring. So it's not anything great, but hey, I'll take it. So let's keep swinging, see what else we get. I was getting two signals uh, from 66 to 72 and jumping all around and got a, du got a, a double whammy with one scoop. Check that out. It's going to be a tungsten ring and kind of one of those souvenir things. All right, let's keep swinging and uh, let's see what else we can get. Getting a real jumpy. Anywhere from a 20 to a 60 to a 70. <clears throat> yeah, that's good. Looks like it's gonna be. Well, got my first uh, ring. It's a toe ring. It's stamped on the inside. I'm gonna have to look at it later to see what exactly it is. But I'll take that. I've dug a, dug a quarter in this gold toe ring. That's why it's ringing up real ecstatically. It's because it's a broken loop. It's not a full ring, and so it's going to jump up really, really up and down, up and down all over. So, hey, it's a good start. Let's uh, keep swinging here and see what else we can get. got a 66 here and it looks gold but I don't think it's gold it's too light but uh, I'll have to look at it later on but uh, moving on to a new swim area this is a small swim area so hey got another ring so let's keep going I may go hit another lake before it gets busy here today today is Memorial Day and uh, before it gets too crowded I think I'll go hit another lake so let's get to swim Here we go. First one for this water season 2023. Preacher Digger got him across. Now it's an episode. It's ringing up at 45. I moved on from that first swim area to the second one. And this is my second target. First was a coin spill. And so that's a good sign this hasn't been detected. So let's keep swinging. Let's see what else we can get. Got my cross, yes. 84, 86. Bottom's getting real hard. I can't scoop too good on this bottom. Well, check that out. That looks silver. It's got that silver look to it. It's ringing up like an 84, 86. And a picture of of Jesus with his crown of thorns on. I got my cross and got a picture of Jesus. This is a nice medallion. I have to look real close and see if it's 925. Ring up high like that. But hey, I'll take it. I'm working the shallow end right now. And uh, it's real hard to scoop on this. There's just a lot of muscles and gravel. You can't get your scoop down to pick it up. But I'll get it though. Let's keep swinging. 
Well, I just about finished with this first swim area and I'm swinging in the very shallow about ankle deep water, maybe a little about mid shin deep and got a 47, 48. Check this out. It's right there. Like it's gonna be looks like it's gonna be a, a gold ring. All right, a gold heart ring. I'll take that. All right, let's keep shit, uh, hitting one more sweep through here and hit the sand a little bit, and we'll move on to the next one. first ring for the day is ringing up as a 61 and uh, I'll take it I think it's gonna be gold-plated silver it's gonna be a heart with some diamonds in it and so hey that'd be pretty nice I actually found it about chest deep water um, well, well about mid chest with deep and uh, hey I like that all right let's hope there's more out here so let's go out in the deeper end see if we can get the deep stuff and see if we can't find a ring or two more Well, coming back through here about waist deep, got a 45 signal, kind of a low tone, and uh, you can see that it's nice. It's, it says 14K right there on the back. And I was just thinking, well, that'd be great if I can get a gold ring or something. I'll take a gold bracelet, 14K, any day. It's a pretty bracelet. Still working this line right down the middle. And so the sun is almost setting. So I got probably about 30 more minutes. All right, that's a good find. Let's keep on looking. Doing a little late night hunting tonight. Uh, this is Sunday, the day before Memorial Day, and the lake has been packed all day. It's just now cleared out of here, so I thought I'd come out here at night and put my headlamp on and see if we can't find a few things. So hopefully we're gonna find something. So let's get to swing and see what we can get. Getting a real jumpy from a nine to a 55. What do you think that's going to be? Let's see if we get it on the first scoop here. Kind of different. Nope. Kind of hard to pinpoint with it being so erratic. There it is. I see it. See it in the street? Well, that's a beauty, isn't it? Check that out. I don't know if you can see my face or not. But uh, that's a nice bracelet. Maybe it's 14K. I doubt it. We'll look at it. We're running out of daylight, so let's uh, let's look at it later on and see what we come up with on the wrap up. In a 67, 68, 69, 70. What could this be? So some odd numbers that I'm looking for. Those old erratic, erratic odd numbers. Can't pinpoint at night. Let's see what we get this time. I think I'm finished. I'll 
check it out. Check it out. Could be a gold ring. Check that out. Could be a gold ring. It's going to have some writing on it. Maybe a name. I might can get a name and return this. I'm not sure. But hey, I'll take that. It's only my third target. I got that quarter. I got that bracelet. I got the ring. Alright, let's keep going. See what else we can get. Well, I just made it in from the lakes. And uh, had a great week. I think maybe about uh, three or four trips down to different lakes. And hitting the same lake a couple of times. But had a better week this week than I did last week. But this week is also Memorial Day weekend. So there's a lot more activity out there. Things ought to start picking up now. And uh, so I went hunted today, which is Memorial Day. But I had to leave about 12. It's already getting too packed out. And uh, I'll probably go out in the morning first thing and hit uh, hit the lakes and see what we can get for the next video. But I've got everything laid out here. i got a great week. Got a lot of great things to show you. So let me spin you around. Let me show you what I found this week. Here's all the trash. Those batteries I didn't dig. There was just batteries that I had changed out of my detector and stuff. There's all the metal I dug out. There's the vape pins. Uh, look at this. I dug this big old hook out of the swim area. Man, won't you? If someone stepped on that, that would have been awful. Uh, goggles. Here's all my bottle caps, all my aluminum caps, all my beaver tails, all my pull tabs, square pull tabs. Even found this and it still works. It's a lightsaber. Uh, saw it last night in the lake. It was dark. It was glowing and uh, kind of scared me at first. Got a starfish and a one legged Luigi. I don't think he can jump very good uh, with that one leg. But here's all the treasures. We got one, two, three, four, five, six dollars and quarters. We got five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty two dimes. We got a pair of sunglasses. We've got uh, nine nickels. And then we got five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty, thirty five, thirty seven pennies. And then one souvenir penny. Then here's uh, the different things that I found. This is a kid's bracelet, uh, necklace, another kid's bracelet, another kid's bracelet. Uh, here's the stud earrings. I wish they were real diamond, but they're not. Here's the loop earrings. And then here's another stainless steel bracelet I found. Another stainless steel chain. Some type of little crown. Must be a charm or something. Little necklace there. Little Raising Cane's necklaces. Preacher Digger got his cross. How about that? First one for 2023. And not far from the cross was this right here. Big uh, pendant. I'm thinking it's silver. It may be silver. I haven't looked. I haven't seen markings on it yet. But maybe. But it uh, go in my religious display anyway. So I was real happy about that. I did get some G. Check that out. 14 karat gold bracelet. I haven't weighed it yet to see how much it is. You probably already saw that in the video. Then here are my rings for this week. I got a gold colored stainless steel toe ring, another gold colored ring, another uh, looks like a James Avery knockoff. It's uh, not st silver, it's stainless steel, another stainless steel. And then check that big old necklace, I'm mean, that big old ring out. Big old bird. And it's big, it fits my finger. It's so big. Then I got a tungsten ring, her buck it's called, her buck tungsten ring. Here's my silvers. I got a little dainty, dainty silver ring with a heart in it. Uh, uh, another silver ring there, and then another silver ring with a heart in it here. And then I'm on the theme with hearts. Check this out. I got a 10 karat gold ring here, and then I got a 14 karat gold James Avery ring here. This thing online goes for about six hundred dollars so i'm gonna weigh all my gold and see how much gold i have on this trip so there it is folks there's all the trash 
and there's all the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure, even if it's gold, it's not what you can find in the lake and put on your tailgate. The greatest treasure, my friend, is what's found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless.